Oh, well, we drove five hours and we're in Florida. We're in wild Florida. <laughs> so we, long story short, we drove five hours from a uh, little dirt road and we're going to pick up a pile of free motorcycles. It's gonna be a lot of work, uh, but it should be fun. They are in the woods, in the woods. That's our favorite kind of pulls. Um, we haven't really did a lot of motorcycle stuff. We pulled a lot of cars out of the woods, a lot of trucks, but We've only got one motorcycle out of the woods so far, so we're pretty excited to see what we can find. We'll probably be some that are fixable, some that aren't fixable, and some that are probably just going to be used for parts. Yep. Oh, there's a donkey. A donkey. We skipped an intro and decided to just jump right in. Beautiful. We just want to go to the front and go up the side. Okay. Or do you want to put the ramp down and go on and then turn them once we get up there? That might be easier. Let's just see if we can push and slide. Do we want to go out and go around? Well, I was going to back it up and then pull it that way. Well, you want to drive that in and I'll push this in? That's gonna be harder. Oh, okay. Uh, little, 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 little. Do we wanna cut these like briars right here so we can make a clear path? Probably. All right, we'll hold this up and I'll do that. All right, let's grab the front and it's gonna rain on us. Perfect. Let's just. We can have a chain onto the truck and drag them out and then load them. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Do we want to do that? Just stand up there. I'm going to try. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I want to just get that one right over here. Okay. We'll throw it a little too much. You want to swap with me? That side seems harder. Oh yeah, I'm getting it. Just swing the front end over that way and just get it out the way. Don't worry okay. about pulling it all the way out. You get the stuff in the water. Swing it against the tree, you say? Yeah. This is one of two Kawasaki triples. These are the only two bikes that the owner wanted to keep, so we just moved them out of the woods for them. Can you get this one next because it's at the front? Or do you want to get... I don't know. <laughs> to me, I'd rather get the like furthest ones. Okay. But that's just me. Can I cut this tree? Can you put that over there somewhere? I cut these branches. What do you mean? <laughs> I hate to ask so many questions, but I learned long ago that Oops. respecting people's stuff is the uh, <laughs> best way to make it up. Drug that one over there. Okay. Yeah. Might as well, yeah. It's already leaned up. We're going to do some unleaning. <laughs> How about that? We may just have to get the winch cable all the way back here and drag it. This one's a little sticky. Well, if we have a hundred foot of winch cable, let's use it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this a little bit better on this thing. So you don't have to hold it. This video is a little different from our other videos. This was the first time that we've used both GoPros together. We really hadn't needed to use both at the same time, but thought that having one on a tripod and wearing the other on a chest mount might make a better video, just to be able to have different perspectives on what we were doing. 
It also allowed me to film and capture footage at the same time, which was a huge win. Another note, I goofed and missed the footage of loading the Kawasaki. That's why it's already on the trailer here. Oh yeah, hold on, back it out, back it out. Let's just stop right there, see if we can, we can just push this one up from hand. Alright, doggy. <laughs> he wants to do the piggy. <laughs> and put this one opposite that one probably yeah on the, well it's got a kickstand on the same side we could lay it the same way whatever way so do it yeah you come grab the front and let me swing the back around because i don't have to lift it. <laughs> i wish our cat did that Yeah, that exhaust pipe needed to come underneath the thing. house oh okay i think i want to put the indian in the back of the truck do we want to get the two crusty ones and get them next okay or do you want to go with that one don't have an engine i think that one's gonna this is the only one that's gonna be hard i think from this one because it's heavy it's heavy that one doesn't have a wheel yeah front wheel all right let's see if we can get this this somehow situated 
What? I need the truck pulled forward, really. I was hoping this one would roll. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. What do you want me to do with this? I don't know. Does it roll? The back does. I don't think the front does. So do you want me to pull it back with the wheel? Um, let's try to roll it forward. If this one's not that heavy, we'll probably pick it up on the side of the trailer. If we can get this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, well, no, this one won't. Then we want to. The truck needs to be pulled forward and then I can just use the winch. We want to get one of the heavier ones and just leave that one right here for now. Probably, yeah. Because I don't want to pull the truck forward when all these are further back in here. Which way are you putting this one? The other way, because it's headed in that direction. I think they'll lace tighter if we do that too. That's how they did the bicycles. And the bike rack. I know it's a little different, but they seem to work the best like that. Alright, you got it. Yeah. Alright. Kick it over. Will it do that? It needed to come a little bit. Just that way. Okay, okay maybe now. Oh. I like that real good. There's the front hanging. Oh, it's not hanging off. It's a little, but it's not any further than the tire. There we go. And the tire. I like that better. Yeah, you can. You're probably on the wrong side. There you go.
Beautiful. I'm not prepared for that. I pulled hard and about landed on the hook. If you, I'll hold it if you want to pull that hand around. You want me to get that one? No, yeah. I just. Yeah. yeah, it does roll easy it does not steer. I think I need to pull it over again. You want me, you want me to do that? I can. Okay. Are we trying to go backwards up here? Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna spin this around. Let me just let it lay over. Yeah, we'll just push this one if it'll go easy. I think it'll go easy. There, is it. Let me slide this. What uh, direction? Oh, no, you pick it. All right, Brittany, get out. Yeah, I was like, I'm on the wrong side for this. Sit down just a little bit more, and then I'll get back. Turn it that way. Will it? It needs to roll forward. So. That's good. I just don't want to take close to the wheel. It's too much like work. <laughs>
Oh. And it has a handlebar. Oh, well, that's good. And a crinkled up frame. Or maybe a fender. It's better than the other fender. Ram air system. Yeah, I took a picture of that in the woods. Yeah. The uh, chest mount is a game changer, by the way. Is it? I mean, yeah, look. I mean, hopefully the footage is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Build old cars too, so any you know, if you run across any, you know, old car stuff. <laughs> and I'm not taking you. Everybody always asks me, "What are you looking for?" I don't know. <laughs> this one might be easier to just pick up and put in the truck. Okay. back roll were mm. you rolling i don't know i was just lifting it and stepping between it oh I had tools if you like want to save it. So that freed up real nice. Can you get the front and swing it? Like pull it up? Swing it on the trailer more. Oh. Here, just do that and see if you can hold it and I'll swing the back. Hold it. Got it? Yeah. Are you trying to stand it up? Or are you no, to... I'm trying to move it that way more so when we stand it up it don't fall off. That's probably good. It was going to be right on the edge. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. All I need to do now is slide her over. I think I got to be on the other side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. At least till I get off the edge of the trailer. I'll come over here and get this and oh my God. That's her. <laughs> it squatted the truck a little bit. Or it looks like it's squatted. Well it squatted the truck because we got ten motorcycles on the tongue of the trailer right now. <laughs> if we load two more on the back, it'll, it'll equal out.
What if that foot peg will flip up? That's what I was going to batter. Oh. It'll do that. Go under in. All right. Oops. Yeah. That one, and then one over there. Okay. And that'll probably wind you up. <laughs> Beautiful. Do those roll? Do you know? Um. I'm gonna go give it a shot. Cause if they roll, I can bring them down here and then I don't have to drive all over the yard for it sometimes. I think if it'll get out of the briars, it might work. It might actually roll. Uh, cover it? This one is for this. <laughs> Hold on. No. At least it's pretty lightweight. This is better than that green one we got at the bottom. Oh gosh. <laughs> that was probably the roughest bike I've put. Yeah. all over to the trailer. Why can't they all be that easy? <laughs> you need to balance it. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Beautiful. Yeah, I can do this one. <laughs> I think this is real similar to John's. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. Trying to push me over. <laughs> Man, we had room for one more. Yeah. We just got done loading 11 bikes, is that right? 11 bikes. It is well after lunch. We're pretty hungry at this point, but he's got a few more at his house. So we've been riding down this red dirt road. So we're gonna check out the next location. You splattered mud everywhere on the bikes Perfect. and on the wheels. There's some uh, trees overhanging the road like in Savannah. It's a cute little like old historic house. Or not house. Houses, colonial style I guess. Colonial houses. Where and you like fall up. This big boy. There's a big one over there. They mostly just got your face. <laughs> 
exciting day already just picking up all the 12 motorcycles but we decided to make it or actually I decided to make it a little bit more interesting for us I was driving and I stopped at a gas station a little bit too much and our brake caliper on the passenger side blew out so yeah it exploded so I'm gonna cap off the line so it'll hold fluid so we can get it back home and fix it properly and no, this is not the correct fix. This is a get you home fix. It's better than all of the fluid going away and then only having rear brakes. We did actually go through the rear brakes yesterday, made sure that they were all good to go, um, sorted through some issues with that. That was a whole debacle in itself. Maybe Daniel can voice over that later or tell you guys what all I had to do because I don't remember just remember we spent all day on the brakes and it was only supposed to take like an hour but we did not go through the front well you know to be fair I wouldn't have fixed this anyway probably not anything I can do about but adding a copper washer here is probably not gonna fix that. I may pour that little bottle of brake fluid in here and then I was kind of waiting if I could zip tie the bottle somewhere to catch what comes out. <laughs> I could pour it back in. <laughs> Let me go hit the brakes, watch that and see how bad it leaks. It leaks this strand. So pretty freaking bad. I don't know whether to just put it back in the caliper and let the caliper leak, because that's not any better. I'm just gonna put it back in the caliper and let the caliper leak. Daniel had to navigate through uh, very tight cars. Yeah, I don't like do car, car meets. And like car show cars, <laughs> late model ones. We were just here trying to get diesel because we were like almost out. Yeah. And every pump is just full of people, like car show people. Yeah. Not no, like. No, no. <laughs> Not yeah. trying to get no. nuts, people. <laughs> here's a uh, small sample. And here's what we brought to the car show. Alright, let's get out of here. day and long night for us uh, we got up before sunrise to go hit the road and then we got back after dark but we did make it to Florida and back from Florida safe in one trip we didn't have any other issues and then we got the front brakes sorted when we got back 
The goal after getting the bikes to the shop is to inventory the bikes, figure out which ones we can make run and which ones are gonna be good for parts. So we're about to unload our motorcycle haul. And we're gonna talk a little bit about each bike as we unload it, go over the condition and show you guys what's up with them and talk about our plans for each one because some of these we're gonna try to build, some are parts bikes, some are just junk. This is a, uh, I thought it said Suzuki on it, but I'm not seeing the badge anymore. I would have put money on it when we picked this up. It said Suzuki on the tank badge, but they're both gone now. The engine Maybe is stuck. There's a, something, there's some kind of like inspection sticker. All it said is manufactured in Japan, which means it is not a uh, sketchy Italian unit. So, all I know about this is the motor's stuck. It may be desirable, it may be cool, but I need this rear wheel for another one, another little moped thing I have in the shop that it's the same size wheel and the sprocket's on the right side. So I'm probably gonna steal that. We may try to build this back, I don't know. But for now, that's what's happening with that. It's pretty rough. Look at this trash. There's a bush in or something going out of the like. <laughs> wobble down the road? Yeah, wobble down the road. It's also missing the, come around here. It's also missing the like exhaust is rusted off and the cover's missing off that and the little adjuster cover thing's missing. So, I don't know. Don't know what size it is, don't know what it is. Anyway, we're gonna unload it. Yes, we know some of the yard is still a disaster. I'm working on it. I'm one person. This yard's always gonna be a disaster because we bring junk like this home. Daniel doesn't do landscaping or yard work um, <laughs> because he doesn't have time. So that it's all me taking care of this and doing social media. Daniel does help me out when he can, but his main priority is to focus on making us money. I do not do landscaping. It ain't got nothing to do with time. It's got to do with I don't do it. So the vent on this one starts 1W2, which according to the chart I found is a Yamaha IC175. Um, snow engine, which, I mean, which you see is what I got. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. If it'd be a good parts bike, you know, if somebody had a good engine. If anyone needs parts off this thing or wants the frame or whatever, it could be bought. I am. Um, if I stumbled upon an engine or another bike that like was worse than this one, I might use parts off this one. You know, take two, make one kind of thing. But that's it. Don't know what year it is. So this is another Yamaha 175. I don't think it's an IT, it's some other variant. So this is a, I think it's a Yamaha Phaser. It's sand cast. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. This is a parts bike. I don't even know if I want to put it with the others. I might put it like off to the side so I can strip anything useful for eBay and then crush it. If anyone needs a phaser, two phaser parts bikes, the little red pink one over there is also a phaser. These could be bought very cheap. Yes, a Suzuki, I think it's a GT 550. This bike, we're gonna try to save. I know there's not a lot here, but good swap mates like Barber, you could usually get parts for stuff like this. And if I can get the engine freed up, then, you know, I'll build a bike around it. The frame's probably good too. This being Georgia, it ain't gotta have a title. So what's the difference between the Suzuki that we're working on and this? The one's a 500 twin and this is a 550 triple. Um, from what I understand, this one has a more linear torque curve. It's a little more like forgiving. Not that the T500 isn't, but this is supposed to be just easier. All right, so this is a Yamaha 500 twin. I do not know what year it is. I don't know anything really about it. I've not ever built one of these. There appears to be some wasps in it somewhere that are quite unhappy with one. Is probably going straight to the crusher unless somebody wants parts. Like I said, I may briefly check it for eBay stuff, but she's probably going to the crusher. This one won't even steer. This is, it has a key in it. Whoa. A Yamaha. Switch is a little froze, but. Um, I don't know what this is. It was a shaft drive Yamaha. 
Um, that's a Maxim that I think is a shaft drive. It's probably looks like the same bike. At least similar. I don't know. It's a frame. This is an 81 Honda. I believe it's a 650. It says 627, so I don't know if that would classify as a 650 or a 600. But, um, depending on the condition of the engine, it's going to depend on what happens with this one. I've got a tank and a seat and some other parts to put this one together. So, if the engine is savable, we might save the bike. If the engine's not, then we probably... This is a Yamaha Maxim, I think. The year is 80, sounds like 81. Um, this one, I pulled the oil cap off and like the clutch basket and everything is real clean. I think this one can be made run. But this is a 77 Kawasaki. I don't know what size it is, it's a twin. Um, they usually say somewhere. This is one of my favorite of the pull. I really like the way it looks. I like the size of the bike. This one's rough. The tank shot. The engine's stuck. But I may try to make this one run. Just because I like it. So would you say it's about the same shape as a Suzuki or worse? It's a four stroke. It's probably the same shape, but it's gonna be worse because it's a four stroke. And that just makes everything harder. So I've did a little bit of research on the little Indian, and I'm pretty sure it is either an ME75 or an ME100. Um, I believe these had engines that were manufactured by Fuji. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it. So if anybody can tell me for sure what this thing is by what you see here, let us know in the comments below because I've tried and there's just not that much information about these things. This is the first one we brought in the shop to try to get running, and it took a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of effort, but this engine spins over, so I think we're going to be good to go on this one. Big thank you to the owner of the 12 Motorcycles for hooking us up with these bikes. It was so good to meet you, and we are so grateful for you letting us come down and get these out of the woods. Well, that's the end of this video. I did want to give you all a quick update on the T500 Suzuki. We finally got a swing arm. It's installed. The rear's... I still got some buttoning up to do. It's pretty much done. So I'm working on the front now. There will be a full update video on this one. We'll have another video once we get all this sorted. So bear with us because we're working on this one in real time. So, and we don't have an unlimited budget. So. so every year we put on the Resurrected show and this year it is, it is October 19th, 2024, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Jefferson Civic Center in Jefferson, Georgia. So what we want with that, um, motorcycles, choppers, vans, vintage campers, buses, uh, obviously your hot rods, rat rods, patina cars, survivors, imports, Japanese and Euro. Uh, missing yeah, obviously regular show cars yeah. are welcome too, but we're really pushing for more of like a Beatersville vibe. Are still in motion. So we're trying yeah. to, that's kind of what we're trying to cater to. So we'd love to see any of our YouTube community come out. Um, come out to the show. We'll be there obviously, but we'd love to meet some of you guys. Last year we did interviews with people, which that worked out pretty well. So maybe uh, this year we can do the, do kind of the same. If you've got a cool ride, um, maybe you might get interviewed. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see us, we will be at Rod Run. When is that? April, sometimes second week in April. Whenever Pigeon Forge Rod Run, yeah. whatever the dates are, we're gonna be there. But we will be there but we will not be at one place because we are horrible at staying at one place. So if you're coming and you do want to say hey to us, maybe like... If you can't yeah. find us, shoot us a message on social media. We'll see it. We'll do our best to meet up with you guys somewhere. Um, but we, we like to roam around. Usually we're either driving one of our old cars that we bring up, we are walking the street, or we're on bicycles pedaling around. So we're there. We're just everywhere. One rod run we went yard selling one day randomly. <laughs> yeah. So we also went and just rode up in the mountains just because but we know. will be there. We're, we're there every year every spring and fall <laughs> Usually on a back street laying under a broken car working on it, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is But thank without you. further ado, let's unload these bikes. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next one See y'all